All right, so once you've got your seeds totally dry, and here are some nice dry uh, mustard green pods, then the next step is called threshing. And what threshing does is it breaks up the seed pod, if, if there is one, and just kind of loosens up the seed from whatever else is, is on the plant. And the seed is the part you want to keep, and everything else is called the chaff. Um, so the absolute simplest way to do this and this is probably the, the way to go if you're doing just a very small amount, is just take a handful of the material and just rub it between your hands. Super simple. And you can see all those little seeds coming out. And then once you can kind of look at the, uh, the material, you can get any that you miss. And if the material's really pokey or whatever, definitely wear gloves, but for most stuff, you know, if you just got a little bit of seed to process, that's the simplest way to do it. Um, if, if you have more, then you can reasonably use that method with. Uh, the next sort of step up in uh, equipment is called a box thresher. Uh, so this is the drawer of some cabinet that I found in the trash. This is a piece of vinyl stair tread, um, which you can buy by the foot at like Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever hardware store. This is the same material, just um, wrapped around a chunk of two by four with a little piece of wood screwed on to keep everything in place. Uh, and the way this works is you take your seed pods, you want them nice and dry, cut off any extra stock and that goes into the box. You can kind of cut it up enough so that it's easy to work with. And then you just kind of rub the two by four chunk over it. And the friction between the uh, two by four and the rubber bottom of the box will just break everything right open. And there's still a little bit left in there. But that works great for, um, you know, stuff that's a little bit tougher than you might want to just use your hands for. And it's often significantly quicker. And you could glue this into the bottom. Um, I didn't because the backside has this really coarse... Um, tread on it and that can be nice uh, for some specific applications like especially really rugged seed pods tend to thresh out a bit better with that chunky side. Uh, if you're doing a lot of seeds I highly recommend uh, this tool called a bucket thresher. Um, you can make it at home pretty cheaply and easily. Um, and basically it consists of five gallon bucket with a lid. This piece um, that we will show you how to make in a separate video. And that piece goes through the bucket lid. You gotta have a hole in the top. And this piece of wood is just because the hole uh, in the lid got really big for many years of use. And so I just drilled a fresh hole in a uh, piece of plywood scrap and screwed it on there. Um, and you also need a drill to drive it. Um, it could be a corded drill or a battery, whatever is handy. And the way this works is you take your unfresh seeds. And they go in the bucket. Probably don't want to fill it more than, let's say, a third maybe halfway full if if it's real fluffy and when possible if you can leave out like this stuff is all just stems so we can just get rid of that right away so we've got you know mostly just seed pods and the stems that are attached to in there we're at about a third full and then the thresher goes in there and you put the lid on the bucket. 
if you don't actually click the lid on, small seeds have a way of flying out of there. So it's good to click them on and it's good to have a bucket lid that comes on and off the bucket relatively easily. Um, then all you have to do is spin the drill. So once you have collected your seeds and let them dry, threshed them, now it's time to winnow them. And that just means separating the seed from everything else. Uh, so here we have our threshed seeds. And there's two really simple ways uh, to clean them. And one of those is using air. Um, so you can use um, just pouring the seeds from container to container, basically just like that. And if there was a fan sitting here, a lot of this chaff would just blow away. You can also do this on a breezy day. Just pour from container to container, trying to land all the seeds in the container and let the chaff blow away. Uh, if you don't have a fan or wind, you can actually use your breath. And that works best in a shallow bowl, but you can see I've blown away most of the chaff and leaving the seeds behind. Uh, another super simple way is to use a series of screens. Uh, the more screens you have, the better. And if you've got this situation where you've got small seeds and large chaff, you want a screen um, that the seeds will just barely fit through. Uh, so this is a less than ideal screen, but it should still work decently well. So you can see all the seeds went through and I got out some of the chaff. Some of it still made it through, but by doing that a few times, you can get seeds that are totally clean. And also for most home seed saving, they don't need to be 100% clean. So there we have just one big chunk of chaff. All right, now we've got seeds that are you know, acceptably clean for home seed saving. If you were gonna make mustard out of these mustard seeds, obviously you'd wanna keep cleaning them. And if you were gonna sell them, um, the sort of industry standard would be that they're significantly cleaner than that. But that's kind of good enough if you just wanna sow them next year. Um, if you wanna do a whole bunch of seeds, and this would be if you're getting really into seed saving or if you want to become a small commercial grower of seeds or if, this, if you want to grow seeds for eating. Um, a machine like this is super helpful. Um, this is an open source vacuum powered seed cleaner um, and we'll link to um, the plans to make this in the show notes. It's not terribly complex, but I would say it requires a moderate amount of woodworking skills. Um, so if you're totally new at woodworking, it might be something that's worth, you know, finding a friend who's more skilled or hiring someone to build it for you. There are lots of commercially made seed cleaners out there, but they're pretty pricey. I think they start around five or 600 bucks. Um, so just the material cost of this, this was built entirely out of scrap except for the screws. Um, if you bought all the materials new, it's like maybe 20 or 30 bucks. Um, and probably a lot of that would be the plexiglass front. Uh, so basically the way this works is you hook up a vacuum to this side, a funnel to this side. This one just uses half of a soda bottle for the funnel. You pour your unthreshed seeds in here and they kind of fall through these baffles and the vacuum will draw off all of the chaff um, and it collects here. There's a little magnetic door um, that allows you to clean out the chaff as it builds up. The really light chaff will actually get sucked into the vacuum, which is fine. Um, so while you're operating it, you need to have a container to catch the seeds that are falling through on this side. And sometimes it takes a little bit of uh, figuring out because it does have one adjustment point, which is right here, uh, which is an air gate. 
Now, when the uh, air gate is all the way closed, there's a lot of suction here at this point, and really light seeds will get sucked in, uh, and you would have to, you know, take everything out and change the air setting and run them through again. Um, so hopefully by just adjusting this air gate uh, to various settings, you can get a situation where you've got pretty much just clean seeds falling through and all your chaff accumulating on the other side. So we'll start with the air gate at about halfway open and see how it goes. <laughs> So at that setting, basically everything was going through. A little bit of the lightest chaff did get pulled over into that side. Um, so we can dump that all back in because it didn't get really any cleaner. And I'm gonna close up the air gate all the way. So it came through pretty clean, and you, what you can see here is a pod that didn't get entirely threshed. So if we break that open, there's still some seeds in there. So that's why these particular pods fell down through uh, the air column rather than getting pulled over to the chaff side. Um, so we can pretty easily get rid of those using a screen. And now, aside from that one little bit, we've got pretty much perfectly clean. And because the vacuum seed cleaner is so good at getting little light stuff, uh, we don't get any of this little tiny bits of chaff. So this stuff is definitely ready to plant or even ready to sell or use in the kitchen. And I think that's it for, uh, for dry seed cleaning.